All right. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to show step-by-step -step machining process of this one. Just give a, a little bit of a description as to what we had. So I was asked to make uh, make a fixture. These rocker arms have a forty thousandths hole. Find a little bit here. These were goodness magnetic. These rocker arms have a, have a forty thousandths hole, but not all the rocker arms have it. So they need a, and that's just an oil passage. So they wanted a fixture that would uh, land that oil passage in the same spot each time. So what I did, um, and I'll, I'll try and link in some still shots. I just dug around till I found some material. That's why it has kind of some weird shape to it. It was just some cutoffs off of a great big sheet that I had. <clears throat> so I just, it's pretty self-explanatory what I did here. Uh, just cut a relief for the rocker arm itself. The set screw here, which I've already positioned. That set screw positions that rocker arm so that that drill bit is perpendicular to the to the axis but once it's in place I'm just got a 3 8 bolt and a heavy washer I realize it's not assembled at the moment we'll do that in just a second here so that just goes up against the stop should be checked with every every rocker arm if you do not you need a rocker arm with a hole in it to uh, for your initial setup. So let's see if I can get this here, and then just recessed uh, what's seven eight bolts in the bottom of it there. Let's see if I can drop this and crack my granite. Okay. So, I haven't put any holes in the base yet. I don't know what they're going to mount it to. They do have a bridge port, but it's not set up yet. So, it might get some holes in it later on. I might just use a use some hold downs there to tie it down to to whatever. Anyway, that's that's pretty much the easy part of it. <clears throat> and there it is. That is uh, one fixture. for drilling oil passages and rocker arms. Good enough. And except these rocker arms do have a, uh, oh, it's a type of coating on them, I can't remember, that's uh, really really hard so <clears throat> I'm actually going to go buy some carbide tooling that they can use to spot face that to get down through that coating or a, a carbide center drill just so they can break that surface and then they can go in with their 40 thou end mill and achieve what it is thereafter so there you have it